Hey everybody, this is Captain Kimo, and I have a tutorial for you. This is a tutorial on how to create this particular image here. It looks like an IR photo, but it's not. It's a uh, it's just a regular photo that I converted in Photoshop Elements to look like an IR-ish image. So what I did was I took this regular raw image, and then I took it into Photomatix to tone map it to kind of give it some more dynamic detail and contrast and add some extra color to it and then I took it into Photoshop to create this um, IR-ish image. Now normally I use Lightroom to create my IR look but I was able to kind of reproduce it using just Photoshop elements so um, with that said let's go ahead and get started we're going to jump right into Photomatix. Okay so I am in Photomatix and I have our image open that we will be turning into an IR photo but uh, before we do that we're gonna tone map this image and this is the default setting here in uh, Photomatix we're going to be using Painterly 2 here so I'm gonna start by clicking that preset and then I'm gonna adjust the preset a little bit just to get it nice and smooth some of the white areas because some of the highlights are blown out so I'm gonna do that by bringing the white point down and that looks good right there and then we're gonna bring the black point up just add some contrast to the image and then I'm gonna bring up the gamma to kind of bring out some of the detail here in the shadows and then we're gonna smooth it out it's kind of uh, pixelated and grainy so I'm gonna, I like to really smooth out my image just to remove that grain so I'm gonna do that and and then saturation shadow here is set to negative three which doesn't really affect the image so I'm gonna bring it back to zero to type it in there a lot easier so that looks that looks good we have our HDR image so this is the uh, this is the before and then this is after tone mapping in Photomatix so now I'm gonna process it and then we're going to go into Photoshop to convert the image into an IR photo okay so we are in Photoshop Elements 9 and we are going to begin the process of converting the image into an IR photo so we do that by first creating a hue and saturation layer and we're going to bring up the saturation to 50 next we're going to go into every individual channel not every individual channel but uh, just a few of the channels here red red we are going to bring the hue to 40 this will take all the red and kind of make it green and uh, so that the IR will look kinda of uniform and then I will go into yellow and I will increase the saturation on the yellow by 50 percent and this will increase the um, the yellow in all the greens or the saturation of the yellow in all the uh, yellow areas next we are going to go into the blues and we're going to drop down the lightness here we're going to drop it down to negative fifty and that just darkens the sky up some a lot of the IR photos have very dark, deep rich dark skies so that's why I'm doing that and then I will go into and that is actually it so that is it for the hue and saturation layer so this is the, the before and then this is after now this is looking kind of intense but we're gonna work through this and you'll see how this builds up into an IR image okay so next we're going to flatten the layer down so we're gonna flatten the image and then we are going to duplicate the image and then go into the um, enhance on your top menu here and convert to black and white Photoshop CS people you don't have this you're gonna have to play around with the uh, the black and white option for uh, in the layer adjustment but in Photoshop elements 9 this is what uh, or 10 this is what you'll be using here so hit the convert to black and white and then it will open up a menu here for us to convert the image into a black and white photo and I am going to start by bringing up or bringing up the green and bringing down the red and then really bringing down the blue so that you can see here the deep rich um, skies or deep dark rich skies here and then we're gonna start moving up the green so that it looks kind of intense kinda like an IR photo it's starting to look like an IR photo right now and then I will bring down the red a little bit now this is up to you um, but this is how I'm working my uh, my image so this is really subjective on how intense you want the image to look so do it to your taste and 
I will do it to mine. Um, it's starting to look pretty good, so right about there looks good. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and then we have our black and white image, which is starting to look like an IR photo now, so this is the before, and now this is the after. Okay, so next we're going to add some tones to our black and white image. Um, this will make it look a little more like an IR image, and we go down here to the hue and saturation layer adjustment, click here, and it'll add a layer adjustment to our image, and we will click the colorize, and this will colorize the photo. Now it's up to you what kind of tones you want in the image. So you can either have it more warmer, but I tend to like my images a little cooler. So I'll bring it to around 200, uh, 215 area, 213 for this looks good. And then I tend to bring down my um, saturation also, and just a little bit though, to about 20, and it looks good there. So I'm going to leave it right there. And you can see here the that's the before solid black and white and this is the after with some nice um, cool tones to the image alright so we are almost done um, next we're going to hit the control alt shift E it's command alt shift E on a Mac and we're gonna take all these layers here and convert them into one image and when we click that keyboard combination we will get this new layer up top here um, and we will go into our filters here to do a little bit of a blur, a Gaussian blur at about 20 pixels and we're going to click OK and then we're going to change the uh, transparency mode to soft light and then bring down the opacity of that image to about 40 percent and that looks good for this for this photo um, it gives it a little bit of a, uh, a dreamy like look to the photo and kind of adds more towards that IR look and then we're going to click the uh, command alt shift E again to create another composite layer so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we will straighten up and clean up the photo a little bit here so I'm gonna zoom out and then I'm gonna click the control T and command T on a Mac and we're just gonna straighten out the horizon points and then make the image a little bigger to kind of fill in the uh, the whole canvas here so I'm just gonna move it so that it it looks good and that looks good right there so I am going to click enter to apply the uh, transform and then we will use the heal tool there's a little bit of dust spot right here so I'm gonna use the heal tool I'm gonna click right there just to remove some of that spots I'm gonna look around here just to see what other spots I might want to remove so that that's it for this image and we have our IR photo finished okay so that was pretty painless um, let's go ahead and uh, go over what we just did okay so here is our original raw photo um, this is the photo we took and turned into an IR image uh, but before we did that we took it into uh, photomatics to tone map when we tone map it we got some very dynamic detail in the photo and uh, we got a lot better looking exposure something that might look well when converted into an IR image and then we took it into Photoshop and we did our thing to create our IR photo okay so that's it for this tutorial um, make sure to check my website at captainkeemo.com for a list of the software that I use the two main one that I use is Photomatix Pro and Topaz plugins for Photoshop um, I also update my website daily so I always have a new photo up and I have a premium membership available over there so you can learn even more advanced tricks. So until next time this is Captain Kimo signing out.